I'm here with Danny DiVolici at 3D Potter where they're building scarab printers and distributing them all over the world. Danny, it's great to meet you. Same here. So can we take a walk around your facility and see what you got going on? Sure, let's go. All right. This is our uh, SCAR Elite uh, on our rail system, our Roadrunner rail system. So this is what we print Adobe and, uh, and concrete materials with. And a little bit later on, we're going to be doing a de demonstration with Adobe. This is the Adobe material they're going to be printing today. It's soft, kind of sandy, and it's earthen without any cement included in the mix. This is our manufacturing facility. Normally, I visit small startups that are working on one or two printers at a time. It's incredible to see an entire mature production facility with spares, printers ready to go out the door, and some available for you to purchase today. This is where we manufacture the scars. These are used both for Adobe cement type materials and also in a university environment uh, for ceramics. Um, and right here is another mixture bump like the one outside. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Is yep. that what you recommend for the system? Yeah, this is what we've taken like three years to nail nail down to be a really um, a good pump. And what's that track system there? This is our latest. Uh, this is our latest little uh, invention. This is a, about a 20 foot long track, and uh, this machine is capable of printing segments in the housing structures. So the whole purpose of, of this type of machine is a couple of guys can put it in the back of a pickup truck take it to the job site, set it up, print multiple sections of the house. So it's not going to print the entire house all at once. It's going to do it in sections. But much larger sections than a SCAR would be able to do without the track. A absolutely, because the, the SCAR reaches maybe like 12 feet, where this we have a 25 foot reach on the track plus a uh, 6 foot uh, reach on the, on the distal. Half of our business is uh, uh, ceramic printers. They're, they're driven, mechanically driven with a gearbox at the top and it takes all different types of clays and it's not very particular in the, the consistency of the clay. Easy to clean. So you basically have another stepper motor axis and that pushes the... Right, right. We have a, a closed loop stepper motor here pushing the, pushing the clay down and we can do retraction also. It's fascinating seeing a mature production environment with spares everywhere and uh, different parts. Yeah, we've been doing this about six years now, and uh, this is our, our primary area for uh, putting together the smaller machines. And you can come back here, and because of the supply chain, trying to keep the inventory up. And How has the supply chain been? Is it improving? Uh, a little bit, yep, a little bit. Uh, the shipping's coming down, which is really, really important. And we used to do the castings in-house, but now these are all the castings for the scars. They're all uh, done outside now. We have CNC machines. So we do most of our manufacturing right in-house. In you mentioned you've been doing this for six years. What did you do before that? Uh, I've had many lifetimes before that. Uh, yacht, yacht building companies and my last big company was aviation. We had a big aviation company in the Czech Republic. All mechanically inclined? Yeah. 3D printing Seekovix. This is specifically designed uh, for the 3D printing. We're the U.S. distributor for, for the Seco 3D printing and we've been working very closely with um, their engineers and, and chemists to fine-tune uh, a specific uh, material just for the 3D printers. How did you do the castings? Well, initially, for the small runs, we do it in-house. So this is 3D printed with a specific uh, uh, PLA uh, plastic. And these are just some of the supports for the, for the structure. Um, then then we, encapsulate, uh, we encapsulate the 3D print inside this special ceramic uh, slurry. And then we slowly uh, take the, the, the plastic out, and then we pour um, aluminum in here. And the end result is a somewhat nice casting. And so you can reuse that plaster piece? No, it's unfortunately it's one time. Wow. So. so it's a big time investment. Yeah, it is. And after, after, you, after you have the d design set, then we go, uh, we outsource now. Everything is uh, cast someplace else. All right, ready? You can already hear the motor.
motors start to go, which is pumping the Adobe mixture through the hose into the straight pipe extruder head. So at this point, what are you keeping an eye out for to make sure everything's going smooth? Well, the first layer is a little difficult, but I'm just adjusting the speed to compensate for the flow rate. So you can change the flow or the speed. I'm just adjusting the speed. It seems to be coming out a lot nicer at this point than it was. And that interior diamond pattern, what made you decide on that? Is that typical? Well, just something like a structural wall. wall. This is a demonstration of a, a potential structural um, wall for a housing project. This is our latest project. It's an auger, which we put on the uh, SCAR machines. So it can either be hand-fed for a small um, project, so you don't have to use the pump, or you can actually put the pump and it can be um, fed by the pump. And the, the stepper motor is controlled by the software, the same software as the SCAR, and it opens up kind of a, another, another aspect, another realm for printing especially for small jobs. These objects were printed with the auger uh, that I just demonstrated inside. And this is a CCMX, so this is the, the 3D printing um, cement. So it has some really nice characteristics, nice color, easy to print. All of this custom clay pottery was 3D printed with their equipment using different kinds of intricate patterns that would be basically impossible to replicate by hand. If you've enjoyed watching this video and want to support my channel, consider joining the Automation Nation. For $10 a month, you can access virtual tours of many 3D printed homes that I visited, a list of 97 different printer manufacturers, and an online community. This channel takes no external sponsorships, so we're fully self-supported by the Automation Nation and the course I have available as well. which is uh, 3, 3dpotter.com and also our uh, Insta Instagram 3dpotter. Awesome. You can check out their website at the link in the description and I'm sure they can email you there as well. Absolutely. So if you're a beginner, I don't know of a cheaper way to get into 3D concrete printing than with 3D Potter and many groups have used this system around the world to produce items like you've seen. So check it out.